Israel's aerial attack and ground move into Gaza has left hundreds dead and thousands wounded, many of them civilians. Benedict XVI has repeatedly called for a ceasefire during this Christmas and New Year's messages, the latest during Sunday's Angelus. The dramatic notizie che ci giungono da Gaza mostrano quanto il rifiuto del dialogo porti a situazioni che gravano indicibilmente sulle popolazioni ancora una volta vittime dell'odio e della guerra. Father Manuel Musalam is Gaza's only Catholic priest. He runs the Holy Family Parish in Gaza City. In a recent interview before the attack began December 27th, Father Musalam predicted the current atmosphere in Palestine and the consequences of further disputes. Now Israel is, uh, uh, is uh, putting Gaza under siege, hard siege, very hard siege. Even it is not a siege. They are committing a crime of war or a crime against humanity. The attacks are an attempt to stop the radical Islamic group Hamas and their rocket attacks into southern Israel, which haven't ceased. Religious leaders from around the world have asked both states to end the violence and come to terms. If I'm able, as a Palestinian and as, as Christian, uh, to, to say something to Israel, now, now, not later, it, now is the time to do peace with Palestinians. Now is the time to agree to have some compromise with Palestinians. During the World Peace Day homily on January 1st, Benedict XVI expressed his concerns for the escalating violence between Palestine and Israel and the resilience of Christians in the Middle East, particularly Gaza's parish. In tal senso, i pastori di quelle chiese in questi tristi giorni hanno fatto udire la loro voce. Insieme ad essi e ai loro carissimi fedeli, Soprattutto quelli della piccola ma fervente parrocchia di Gaza, deponiamo ai piedi di Maria le nostre preoccupazioni per il presente e i timori per il futuro, ma altresì la fondata speranza. A hope that Catholic relief charity Caritas Internationalis is desperately trying to bring to Gaza's wounded. With limited medical supplies and continuous bombings, the aid is as needed as it is difficult to get to. Well, we're trying to work with the, the parish of Gaza in providing this medical help. It's a very difficult situation because of the aerial bombardments. It's very hard for doctors to move around. It's very hard for our mobile health clinic to move around. So it's, it's under, we're, we're really operating under extremely difficult circumstances. Father Musalam confirmed on Vatican Radio that many Christian homes have been affected by Israel airstrikes. Although Christian population in Palestine has decreased from 5 to 2 percent in recent years, the Holy Family Parish continues to pray for their faith and their country. We need really uh, this support of God in, in Gaza, prayers, uh, charity towards Gaza. It's a plea that has become much more urgent in recent weeks. Despite the hostile atmosphere, Vatican authorities assure Benedict XVI's visit to the Holy Land in May is still a possibility, and Gaza's parish could be one of the stops in Palestine suggested in the Pope's agenda.